if you have this subjective world and only look from inside out. But at the same time, if you have like a third eye is another word, or the view from the top, view from the third dimension, the third person's point of view of what I'm doing. So it's almost like relationship between me and mini-me. Mini-me is one small entity of me doing this and that, and the big me is observing what's going on as if from the parent's point of view or from a high altitude. So you see what you're doing from different perspective. It sounds very contradictory, but there are different ways to explaining, explaining this thought, the mirror mind or wave and ocean. So if you develop such a perspective and you can switch like a change in the camera situation from one of your view of the world as mini-me or yourself and the third person's perspective of what you're doing, like objective view from the above. There's a saying in Japan that if you are watching the game, two people are playing, if you watch from outside, you can see better than when you are playing the game yourself. It's like one handicap better. Because you not get involved too much to the battle itself, but uh, you can see yourself in uh, objective view, calm and quiet mind. It's the same as expecting the unexpected. If you are occupied in what you do, you get caught up in what you do, you lose the balance, and you may get hasty, jump into conclusion, and if you bang your head, you try to get up and move to the right direction and hit another wall. So you get da -da 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 -da. busy, 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 busy. And maybe you're not like me and you're much calmer, but uh, I can <laughs> relate to such a moment when something is happening and you need to respond very quickly. You, you, you lose track of what is to be done, but just become more reactive. Maybe that's what happens in the nature when the animals or the insect, whatever, is to respond to the stimuli. If it's threatening, they're gonna go a little wild, adrenaline rush. But in living life, yes, we have to process lots of information and more angles that you have. It's like uh, having a triangulation of where you are not just one point of view, two points, three, five points, multiple points, and then you see the nature of what's going on. It's much better. Someone said the truth may be fine by having multiple perspective. And lots of discussion I share in this YouTube video is just like that. You know, we talk about how we live our life truthfully, and sincerely to the best possible way we can for the best for yourself and for the world may all be happy so that's the idea and to do that we need to look not just at one perspective but bring in different perspectives and meshing those together we can say each perspective, each YouTube video that I produce may bring in some insight. But if you add other videos, because I'm trying to approach this living life truthfully and sincerely from multiple point of view, some of them may be redundant, but we may be looking or I may be trying to share the thought from different angles. Otherwise, 
I don't have to produce so many videos. But life is such that you know, nobody has multiple, many point of view. And my view is different from yours. And even within myself, there are various views. And I need to synthesize them to make sense, all sense of it. And that's the discussion of me and mini-me. A person of me doing this and the other person looking from different angle at what I'm doing. I use the word of mini company within the company or mini mini company. It's the same relationship that all of those entities, like a mini me's, are to work together to produce the power as a whole organization. And for that, we want to uh, connect to each other better. And we don't want to create the boundaries or blockage for communication. And for that, I call it the glass wall, not the brick wall that we develop and develop the syndrome of silo. Each is behaving on its own and speak different language, emotional response, but not connect to each other so that the team work cannot be developed in such a case even though there's usually a customer supplier relationship. The same is true in my view in our brain, the neuron system, or brain and body. At the end, they are one entity, totally to be integrated. But sometimes one segment of it, call it mini-me, have certain memory and response in the system on its own, and that may, may need to be coordinated with other mini means, different viewpoint, different ideas, different memories, and so forth. But if we don't have that connection, and relationship, and communication, then it's get more one-sided approach. And the same thing happens within me in terms of the brain me and the body me. Again, mini-me A, mini-me B. And the brain's work would run its own, forget about the body's response. And if that happens, mini-me brain may not listen to mini-me body. And the mini-me body may be suffering because mini-me brain is occupied himself in doing something and causing the trouble in the body system. And that needs to be handled in a better coordinated manner, integrated manner. And that may require some skills, different viewpoint, different way of developing the approach and the system to be a whole, synthesizing the whole. So me and the mini-me discussion, all different entities, but integrated, different viewpoint, but looking at the total picture and the truth to be revealed sincerely and truthfully. That's the exercise, important point that need to be emphasized over and over. If you look back your history, in my case, I have those examples, so many of them I can find. But I was just doing one part of the equation by this mini-me occupied in what it wants to do. Maybe narrow-minded, maybe rushing too much, maybe caught up, but not relating to, say, the body response or different viewpoint, or a story from someone else that I remember and stored in the library somewhere in my mind-body system. And there's the answer. Just like in the internet, there are lots of answers, but if we don't connect to that, what's the point of it? And we need to have a good search mechanism, linking mechanism, and connect to that. That's the neuron system that we need to develop in us. Instead of the silo, each of the mini means are running its independent life, and there's no good coordination. The equation is more difficult 
because this brain has so much capability and potential that integration of that all is not so easy. If we did alone to do whatever they want, like a, each of the mini means playing different game, you know, different agenda, different framework. And that's one of the reasons why, why I mentioned about this life profile. You know, we have different mini means, but uh, one of the mini me is want to live truthfully and sincerely. The other me is occupied in the work or hobby, relationship, finance or health. But they are to be integrated and balanced and prioritized under one bigger picture. So I didn't use the word of me and mini me so much, but I think it makes sense that if we are comprised of those different mini me enterprises and the, each mini me has another mini mini me, just like I talked about that company, mini company, a mini company, mini mini company. Each is to self-organize and put together in certain way with the glass wall or transparency, a mechanism to share the information, making things visible, observe what's going on. We can have a multiple viewpoint, synthesized approach of acquiring things, not just in the conscious brain, but also even to the unconscious part of us. That's the mind-body relationship, conscious and unconscious. So this discussion may sound possibly very weird, but that's okay. I'm just trying to share a viewpoint, a different viewpoint, if you think this is odd and weird because there may be a need or there may be some kind of benefit if we do that. And one way to say it is that we have a multiple viewpoint to triangulate if there's a way to openly share that information, but not having the blockage, the bottleneck in that system. So, Let's stop here, because that's good enough and important enough. But I thought I just mentioned this on this occasion, so that uh, what we are doing here, I'm trying to do here, is connected to like a developing a better neuron system, better network system, not just the brain, but the body, not just the ABCD, but also between ABC or among all of them, as well as deeper into your unconscious or subconsciousness, so that our wiring system in our brain is perhaps better integrated and organized, and then have that potentiality to bring out what we see as desirable and right. Destiny finding the destiny and be the master of the destiny and have things orchestrated in such a manner that we find a way to make sense of all and find the meaning of it and proceed in our life to live better, happier internally to us but also in relation to others because there is an entity ABCD and yourself. So collectively, that structure would spread out to the society, organization, nation, world, and even connecting to other species on Earth and more.